We've gotten some conflicting data points on the consumer heading into the holidays. On the positive side, jobless claims and consumer sentiment were slightly better than expected today. But it comes after a slew of retailers have expressed caution about the fourth quarter. So what's the real story here? A slowing consumer or company-specific problems? Joining me now is Ike Borishow, senior analyst at Wells Fargo Securities, and CNBC senior economics reporter Steve Leisman. Welcome to both of you. We're going to duke this out. Is it company specific? Is it consumer specific? Ike, you know the companies better than anyone. Uh, what are your thoughts as we move through earnings season? Yeah. Uh, look, hey, Kelly. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. So, um, at a very high level, you know, inflation peaked for soft lines. Uh, but that said, we're, we're still going up. We're going up less than core CPI. But remember, Pricing in apparel has been deflationary for a decade. It was negative for three to five years into the pandemic. So we're still up low single digits. So pricing is moderating. It's going to continue. It's pressuring the consumer. Spending has been slowing in real time. I'd say October, November have been real call outs of negativity. For us, I think you want to hear, you know, you want to stick with value. For us, we're really pushing Burlington and Ross on the off-price side. We like Gap and their turnaround strategy via the Old Navy brand. So I think it's very company-specific. But overall, your question, what's going on? Yeah. Pricing is, is starting to compress and demand is slowing. It's fascinating, Ike, because you say basically at its peak in 2022, uh, if, if apparel pricing was up about 7%. So now we're low single digits. The places where you're seeing the biggest problems seem to be Vans brand, Michael Kors, Levi, even my Carters. So there are some pockets where, would you call those outright deflationary categories? What I would say is that we, we were in this pocket uh, for 24 months out of the pandemic where, you know, margins, pricing, everything was go, go, go to the upside. And these companies thought it was the new normal. And what we realized is that it was a moment in time. And a lot of these brands are starting to adjust pricing down. Vans has taken price adjustments. Levi's is taking price adjustments. Michael Kors. You're seeing in every category from apparel to handbags to beauty with Ulta. Ulta's pricing is down for the first time in over five years. So I think it's more mean reversion than anything. We just got to a level that was unsustainable. And the consumer is going to tell you where prices need to go. And right now, those prices are definitely trending lower. Yes, I, I think that's very well put. Steve, across the economy, we're seeing areas as well, um, like appliances, where we're kind of back to trend. We're back to normal, so to speak. And other yeah. areas like soup and cereal, where we're still 20 percent higher than normal, they haven't adjusted at all yet. Right. And it's a question of both competition and the consumer. Kelly, this is the time of year I have to remind folks about Leisman's first rule of economics, which is don't say somebody won't buy until you know the supposed price they're not supposed to buy at. Mm. And that's really what's going on in the economy right now is this is the time of year where there's a game of chicken between the retailer and the consumer. And do you remember the old Yogi Berra phrase, nobody goes there, it's too crowded? It's the same thing. It's sort of the same oxymoron moron of saying um, nobody's buying because prices are too high. By definition, if that's true, prices are going to come down. So I really like what Ike is saying. The consumer is going to tell us what the price is. And if what Ike is saying is accurate, which I'm sure it is, that in some places you're getting this mean reversion, you could see or have, I think, a decent Christmas season because people will go out and find the value that they've been missing for a couple years. So what Ike is saying to me is telling me, A, we're not supply constrained. That's very important. And the price is being set more by an actual meeting of supply and demand. And I think that's kind of bullish if you layer into that this idea that the consumer has had the wherewithal in an unexpected way for quite a while now.